Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this beginner's guide tutorial I'm going to show you how you can edit your community server files for PC, PlayStation and Xbox servers so that your plate carriers spawn in complete with the pouches on the front, you can just about see them here um, and the uh, holster and also with, the ch with a grenade and a smoke grenade attached so you'll see them kind of looking like this, like you can kind of uh, kind of see here so the spawn in and also the different types and we're going to also do it so that you can add them to ordinary ground loot so they'll spawn in in uh, normal like no, normal military locations so let me kind of show you so stuff like where well, we got two of them so this is at Zelengorst isn't it so let's spawn in because normally the plate carriers they're very limited where they spawn um, on some maps they spawn um, uh, in the bunkers, like on Livonia and in, on Sakal, and then I think on Chernus, they only spawn on um, zombies, don't they? I think, and not all of them spawn, so as you can see, just like this. So, to make them a little bit more useful when you find them, also they'll be pristine as well. Well, the, the, the carry itself will be pristine, and the bits that attach it actually will depend on the other settings in your CFG spawnable type. So let's just jump out of there. And straight away, if you know what you're doing, um, you'll see links in the description below this video to my GitHub repository and my Mega. And there's only one file, the README, and the README contains the instructions and the code snippets. There's a CFG spawnable type snippet, and there's a types that XML spit snippet. So CFG spawnable types, that controls how things spawn in on your server in terms of their damage and what attachments they can spawn in. So in the case of the plate carrier vests, um, the different colors, you have the damage value there and then the, the chances of them spawning in with either the holster or the pouches and then we have the chance of them spawning in um, with the choice of one of two grenades uh, frag grenades and one of two smoke grenades as you can see there um, so we've got the uh, Russian grenade and the American grenade and then I think I don't know if the RDG2s are Russian smoke grenades but anyway they're, they're smoke grenades so what have you got to do well it's relatively easy to do all you need to do is go to your server and then go to the CFG spawnable type section so if we go to right, let's go back here so go to your server when I'm using nitrado as an example hit the web interface um, and that will get you to your dashboard somewhere like this and then you go to tools file browser and then go into your missions fol folder and then if it's Chernerus you're going to go into mission sorry and then you go into missions there we go, you'll see that. So it's PS missions for a PlayStation server, XB missions for an Xbox server, just missions for a PC server. Then if it's Chernerus, it'll be daisyoffline.chernerus. If it's Livonia, it'll be daisyoffline.enoch. And if it's Sakal, it'll be daisyoffline.sakal. And you go in. Now this works for all of the all of the different maps. However, what you have to remember is that if you alter the types entry, it will alter how they spawn in. So for example, on Sakal the vests spawn in inside the special bunker and on Livonia they spawn in in the bunker down at Dambog so that will it will change that if you do the types that entry but if you just want to do make them spawn in with the pouches and the holster and the grenades you just go to uh, CFG spawnable types now the ideal way of doing this is to download it um, and then edit it locally so that you can check it with an online XML validator for errors before you upload it again. But you can do it live. So if we go for plate carrier, there we go. So we've, we've found it. Now, what I've done in the README is you'll see that I've separated the plate carrier uh, snippet from the others. That's because actually in the code for, for some of the missions, the plate carrier versus the original one, is is separated so what you do is you would then copy that and then over the entry for the plate carrier vest paste that in like that let's add a little space so we can see it properly 
And if you scroll down a bit past the Christmas stuff, you'll then see the other ones. So now we've got this whole entry. Now on my uh, bit, what I've done is I've got winter, uh, black, uh, green, and camo. So if we copy all of them, like so, then go back here, then over the top of the existing ones from the beginning of the first type entry to the end of the last type entry, we put all then this will then put all those in. Now remember, if we're only editing the CFG spawnable types entry, um, that won't change them spawning in, in and of themselves. So this being a Cherno server, what you'll find is that just because we've got a CFG spawnable types entry for the plate carrier vest green camo, doesn't mean it will actually spawn in, okay? But once we've pasted those in, we could save the changes. Now I'm not gonna restart the server at the moment, but you would then restart it to make it work. Now if we want to change the, uh, whether they actually spawn in or not, we then go into the missions, or we go into the DB directory, and we need to go into types.xml. Now this is quite a big fold, big file, so it can take a while to load up. Then if we search for plate carrier, yeah, it might be too big for it to find. I think this is in alphabetical order, is it? L M N O P. Should be able to find it. Let's have a look. So we can find it. Plate carrier. Plant. Plastic. Plate carrier holster. Plate carrier holster. Plate carrier holster, here we go. So we've got the plate carrier holster green. Plate carrier holster, plate carrier pouches. Plate carrier pouches green. Plate carrier vest, here we go. So we can see that it is, so the plate carrier vest doesn't spawn in naturally at all. Actually no, sorry, the camo one does spawn in on uh, Cherno. And it's military tier three and tier four. The green doesn't. The black doesn't, and the normal one doesn't. I think it might spawn in on zombies, though. So what we can do is we can select and copy all of the types entries that we see here, like that, and then we go back to this entry, and then over the top of the existing ones, we carefully do it down to there, paste it in and we can see they've now got two of each spawning in on map and they're just classed as normally normal military clothes so you'll find them near the coast on Chernus at military locations on Livonia if you'll find them in the north um, all that sort of stuff so they become easy to find so we just save changes restart the server the server will then restart and you'll be left with some very nice plate carriers that will spawn in with pouches, holsters, and grenades on them. So hopefully this has been useful. If it has, hit like, continue on the same, press subscribe, and of course, I'll see you again soon.